when I was in elementary school, I always knew my name was coming up because the mm. teacher would stop. That's me she too. Was... I'm East African, okay? And so when I was in school, the, the, the um, you know, okay, here, here, let's, let's just go back a little bit. So like my father would always be like, do you want to use your Christian name? You know, you could be Monica Maria if you want to. I'm like, dad, my name is Koku. <laughs> like, I don't want to be Monica Maria. Like that's the Christian stuff is cool and all, but no, I'm Koku Tona. Yeah, yes, it, it, yes, you are. Yeah, you know what I mean. No, I love it. No, 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 no. So, 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 Martin. Again, let's let's get the last name. How do I say it? I love, I love the, that story, and and um, I've heard all versions of it. My last name is pronounced Gigi. I thought so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, I've heard it. I've heard Gigi, Gigi. My basketball coach in high school used to call me Gooey. What? He used to go Gooey. I want you to take the ball and pass it. And, 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 and we just you, accept it, though. Like, there's so many, like, iterations and variations of my name where I've just accepted them. Gooey, stop with that razzle-dazzle. <laughs> <laughs> and, that, and that was part of, like, one of the reasons that it, I really identified with this story was just that, mm. you know, I knew what it felt like to be, and I, I, have, I, have, I, have, I haven't had a chance to talk about this yet, with, with anyone and and you just kind of made you just brought me you melted away the years with the name thing because I <laughs> right and he was she wouldn't let me express myself on the court creatively right. right right and I grew up I grew up in New York City and I'm originally Argentinian but I grew up in New York City playing a specific style of basketball yeah that wasn't necessarily you know they call it street ball and not always accepted in the uh, organized game or in the system as we, as we would know it. What part of um, New York City did you grow up in? I grew up on 92nd Street and Broadway. Wow, so you're, you're, you're like a real New Yorker. I am at heart, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, uh, my dad was a musician, so we moved around a lot, mm -hmm. but I was here most, you know, the first day after I was born, my parents uh, got, got out of Argentina, came to New York City, and I, uh, I lived here uh, the first eight years of my life. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and then I came back, and um, this is where I lived for for you know. Uh, Do you speak from... Spanish? Sí, hablo español, castellano, which is a different. Oh, okay. yeah, castellano is a little bit different. It's a little, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the... I ain't saying I ain't saying I speak Spanish like that. I'm just. <laughs> let, let me let me let me let me let me tell you something. My 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 secret weapon, Martin, is like that people don't know that I speak Spanish. So I, oh man, man, it comes. Oh, isn't that good. great? Oh, comes in handy, great. like when you're when you're in an elevator or something, and you hear absolutely. Him, they don't know you're Coco. Claro, <laughs> claro que sí. <see. laughs> you understand me? <laughs> oh yes, indeed. <laughs> but uh, okay, so tú entiendes? But but uh, okay, so I'm not the better. No, no, because they're not gonna understand this interview if we start getting to that. So let's let's not <laughs> let's not slip into that. <laughs> we'll give them a chance. <laughs> we give them a chance. Let's let 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 them understand us. <laughs> At least they know that we. No, no, see, ahora sí, okay. Ahora sí. See, chill. That's great. You know. What? By the way. If you ever, after the interview and stuff and like maybe whatever, before you crash tonight, yeah. Google, uh, you can YouTube a song called Ahora Si. Ahora and it's, si. A, it's an old salsa song. Mm. It's so good. Is I it mean, good? It's, am, it's I got, am I going to love it? You're going to love it because it's got this fire like your spirit does. Okay. In a beautiful way, you know, yeah. in a really like, in a, in a classy way. So you'll dig it because it was one of my classy. favorite tunes. Yeah, Si. Martin, nobody's ever called me classy. <laughs> well, you know, we can get t-shirts that uh, on one side it says Coco and on the back it says classy. <laughs> no, it's not going to be opposite, polar opposites. Okay. All right. No one's going to believe that. I just want to, I, I, let's, 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 let's talk serious. Right? We're, just for two seconds, for two seconds. We don't have to, we don't have to talk serious forever. Um, What a fucking... What a phenomenon! I like I, okay, I'm, I'm editing myself out for that. That was horrible. That was, no, that was beautiful. No, that was horrible. But it was it was a, it was actual like it was from, like yeah, it was from your soul. That was yeah, from it your was soul. It was a natural reaction. Yeah. What a phenomenal job, dude! Like Sweetwater, oh. this is a good movie, and like I just want to know, like you know, 
what went into just deciding to make this decision to like make this movie because it's so good i loved it thank you coco oh my gosh um you did good bro thank you, you. Good. you're so cool sis you you validate <laughs> you, val you validate hermana you validate um choices that i've made in my life by by embracing the film the way you it. have because i can tell that you're embracing it with your heart and soul mm -hmm. oh i made it for so many reasons because so you um in april april of 95 so it'll be 20 28 years in this april is mm -hmm. when i bumped into the story really uh huh. and i was uh at the time i was uh, I'm, I'm also a musician and, and i was touring with a blues it was a blues tour with mm -hmm. james cotton and uh, a few other cats and i was playing b3 on that tour and we came through springfield massachusetts and i walked into the basketball hall of fame because i was like wow i've never been to the basketball hall of fame and i played high school ball and i played college ball and i was like okay i gotta i gotta check and i still play ball i love the game and i i gotta check out the hall of fame and back then in 95 watching at the time i think it was the knicks the knicks were playing the pacers i think it was reggie miller era oh yeah reggie, yeah 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 reggie miller and patrick Ewing. reggie miller together. deserves the ring that's my boy yeah oh with a aim into that and yeah. um and they were playing in the playoffs the eastern conference playoffs and it was on the game was on while i was walking around the hall of fame and that's i don't know i can't explain why but that's when it hit me it was like wait a minute, the game that I mm -hmm. have a passion for, the game that I love is mm -hmm. a game that is creative. It's a game where we use our imagination and we're open to all possibilities. Mm -hmm. And and I thought, wow, okay. And so I went to the information desk and I said, you know, who's the first one to play that game? Because I remember mm -hmm. in my mind, as far back as I knew, there was Connie, a guy named Connie Hawkins, because mm -hmm. uh, I was I was a I was a student of the game even as a kid, mm -hmm. I was a, I was a paper boy and I used to read all the stats and stuff. And before while I was delivering the paper, I always wanted to be the first one to know what the stats were from the night before. And so and I knew there was a white dude named Bob Cousy, and I knew that there was Elgin Baylor. And I was like, mm -hmm. who invented that game? And that's what led me into the history of the game that had yet that had yet to make it into the history books and channels of, of, if nothing else, information and education. And so it kind of hit me. I was like, okay, maybe there's a book here. At the time, I was also a, a documentary filmmaker. I thought, well, this could be a cool documentary. And I started making phone calls because it was none of this back then. Right, right. And exactly. so yeah. I was like, how am I going to find this information? I started making calls. I, I, I had friends in the NBA and started interviewing uh, you know a, like a couple of pals in the nba <laughs> yeah and, and you know it's like you, you, there's no rhyme or reason where like here we are right meant to be bump into each other on this particular moment in time and that's how i've met people you know um and uh, i believe that if you're true to, to yourself to your true purpose like the film exemplifies that um you meet everybody you're supposed to meet and you you uh, impact people in a positive way the way you the way that everybody should um, and the way we we hope that someday we'll exemplify harm some sort of global harmony mm -hmm. so anyway now, long story short <laughs> I, I, that's where the story was born and i started doing research and finding all these yeah. great th things you know oh my that happened oh it was earl lloyd oh chuck cooper oh i'll, I'll find i'll track down earl lloyd and I, I i tracked down earl lloyd oh chuck Cooper. i gotta talk to these people and i for some reason gravitated towards sweetwater story as you know from the yeah. film, and I don't want to give yeah. anything away, but no. there's a twist, which is like, whoa, you know, I grew up um, listening to my folks, listening to MLK, mm -hmm. um, listening mm -hmm. to, to, to leaders who, who um, spoke truth. Mm. And I thought that's where it all comes from. And in, the mu and in music, everything has to come from here, right? Mm -hmm. There can't be any of this. Mm -hmm. And so I thought, well, how interesting would it be to find out, you know, exactly how this went down, the truth about it. And so I'm very blessed that along the way, the NBA helped people who lived it, uh, the Laptrick family, um, Sweetwater's family, um, Ape Saperstein's family, 
were kind enough and generous enough to share information. And and over the and years, Everett acted his off, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. He Ooh, acted like, his beep off, absolutely. <laughs> because and and, and he was uh, he was uh, similar to uh, I I do believe that there was a, a spirituality to this journey, a, a guardian angels, if you will. Mm -hmm. There was a calling that we were all feeling. Oh, everybody on the set felt this. E e emotional <clears throat> um, connective tissue, DNA. We all felt mm. that we had to, it was all about tr truth, authenticity. And we knew that we had to channel this story so that it could, you know, hopefully impact future generations for, for, for a long time. It's really important. We, uh, you know, we, we have, we've come a long way, but we have a ways to go. Right. So that's, the for me the, the impetus of the message and why mm. I, I i wanted to tell the story because it's not so much about basketball even though it is and it's not, not so much about the triumph of the human spirit even though it is and it's really about change you know and that's that's that was kind of our mantra for everyone involved martin i i thank you so much i thank you so much for for, for telling the story and and for really even just even even being spending the time with me <laughs> To talk about your message, you know, um, you know, feeling is mutual, Coco. Igualmente. Igualmente. <laughs> para siempre. Para siempre. Exacto. So <laughs> you're cracking me up. I don't even know what to do with this. <laughs> I've never had an interview like this. <laughs> I haven't. I haven't either. And uh, and so we're setting a trend, just like Sweetwater did. <laughs> <laughs> exactly exactly oh that's oh that's a nice rap because they're like they're killing me the pr is killing right now <laughs> Once again. so we'll just we'll say this coco to be continued <laughs> i pre i appreciate you the, no i appreciate you and, and then again on your next film i talk to you again right yeah oh absolutely that's it there's no turning back now better die see Coco, <laughs> Coco, we were, we were, this is meant to be, this is as they call it, kismet, the shared serendipity, whatever you want to call it. And don't ever I, let them call you anything else. I won't let them call me anything else because let me tell you something. Martin and Gigi told me everything about myself. So I'm very confident. <laughs> oh, you know, we may have to think about a show, Coco and Gigi. Ooh, ooh, Cokes and Gigi. <laughs> We got it. We got it. We got it. <laughs> thank God for laugh. Thank God for laughter and humanity and a beautiful spirit like you. I, oh my God. Oh my God. Like, oh my God. You've made my day like beyond anything. <laughs> Once again, my name likewise, is Coco. Likewise. Oh, 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 likewise. Once again, my name is Coco with Blackstone.com. And I was here with Martin Gigi. Okay. My brother from, from New York, New York City, New York City, born and raised. Okay, brother. Um, he um, has orchestrated this beautiful film, Sweetwater, um, which will be in theaters on April 14th this year, like in a couple weeks, guys. And I'm going to put this out. Right? Exactly. And it's so, so, so good, guys. It's so good. And, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a huge basketball fan, but there's nothing like really reaching back and going back to the greats. Who's your favorite basketball? My, my favorite basketball player of all time is Magic Johnson. Wow. That yeah. is so great because he was he was a giver. Dope passer. He was a good, that's right. He yeah. was all about making it happen. And that's, that's the, that's the beauty of the game. That's who I am. So for yeah. me, it was, it was magic and Julius, Dr. J. Ah, uh, Dr. J. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. And, 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 you know, and, and I'm a stand of, of KD. I'm, I'm, I'm a KD. I'm a KD lover. I don't care what y'all say about him. That's not baby. He's pure. <laughs> He's pure. He's pure. He's pure. Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 uh, um, what else can we say other than ahora sí? Ahora sí, yeah, exacto. You're, ahora. An, earth, you're sí. an earth angel and I, yeah. embrace you. I embrace you. Okay, Martin Gigi. <laughs> I'm going to say it like how we say it at home, Martin Gigi. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a song. Un <laughs> baile. <laughs> Uh, my, what do you dance? Bye. I dance Coco. What do you dance? I dance Martin Gigi. If you want to see more content like this on blackfilm.com, make sure you like, subscribe, and ring that bell.